make sure these guys are doing all right over here. Proud of you guys. Get this looking pretty for me. Let's get a little bit of chill tonight. We're just gonna sit down by the fire for a minute. Hang out with a little pooch. Just chill. Look, these guys work on these fields. Why well, go spread manure on the other and start cultivating? And it looks like plowing first is the way to go. Because then you can kind of see what the hell you're doing as far as the change in color. I would think plow before I, or manure before I plow and then fertilize and cultivate and stuff. But make sure these guys are doing alright over here. Proud of you guys. Get this looking pretty for me. There's a drone racing competition right by our door, but there's a racing drone you can buy too, and I never I have no idea. Maybe one day we'll check that out. I bought a new cultivator, obviously, and I bought a new fertilizer because they weren't too expensive. So I'm gonna. My other cultivator to go. There it is. So I don't think they're really width -wise. Actually, my other one might even be wider. Width-wise, I don't think they're much different. That's why I wasn't going to buy it, but... Did I already complete... Did I complete loot or did I stop? I thought I might have stopped right in the middle of one of my lines. And now I can use this new one. Check her out. I don't think it's any wider. And too bad I can't have workers use my equipment or whatnot. One by one. One by one. Alright. See you in a bit. Alright, fields are all plowed, cultivated, manured. Time to fertilize with my new man new fertilizer. Holds quite a bit. It cleaned out whatever I had. 2,374 kilograms and it's not quite full, but... Let's rock and roll and see what happens. This is lower the machine. Do I have to lower it? I think I just gotta lower it to... Disconnect it. I can kind of see. It's a lot harder to see what's going on with the fertilizing. Might have to just start paying work and just do everything pretty soon. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Alright, now we got to start trying to use this new cedar here and planting. Can I try and do peas over here on the largest field so we're rocking 99 plowed 100 cultivated and fertilized 88 manure i know i'm going to do lapine i think on that new field that we bought uh smaller field doesn't yield the greatest put it by the road since uh my plants of sunflowers are going to fall through you can't do sunflowers and then i'll kind of just go from there uh we'll see Probably should have another barley field or something to get some more straw. Even though I don't know yet. I'll figure it out. We'll see ya. This one I can actually lift though, so it's not planting the entire time. Once again, I don't know about the... The width isn't too much more. And when the worker was using a different cultivator on this field it didn't look like the same thing 
I don't get, I don't think you're getting too much more on the whip. They're just better pieces of equipment. Work better. But you kind of need some of these bigger tractors to work them better too. Cultivator was struggling a little bit on one of the fields with the other tractor, so I switched them. But we're just going to go along and plant in these fields and then sit along for the rest of the year and work on our greenhouse and cows and see what people need to work with along the town. See when these are growing. I was totally wrong about wasting seeds. That's good. I thought they just disappeared when they uh, came back in here, but I realized when I empty the cedar, it just goes back into my stock. One of my that far field, I did it all peas and kept going until it emptied. So it's like one and a half fields over there, and then I'll do the other half with the soy, I think. So. We empty the cedar, it goes back up in there. So now I gotta grab some soy and should be getting a trophy now. I don't think it shows up in the video, but you get a trophy for four fields plowed, cultivated, and sown. And this should be the fourth. I don't know if it gives to you as soon as you start planting, but, but also that other. My other field isn't fully, uh, fully planted, so I don't know if you have to have the whole fields planted, or you might even have to have 100% of everything. If that's the case, we're not going to get it, so I don't know, nothing's popped up yet, so I don't know. We'll see you probably, I don't know, along the way and much later on. Alright, just got done planting my lapine over here, so I'm thinking definitely that trophy for the fields, four fields, they all have to be 100%, so I'm going to have to pay workers next time and hopefully whatever 1% they leave, if they do, pick up their slack and find it, because all I got left is that half of this other field down there, but there would already be four besides that so you're definitely gonna have to have 100 percent of everything to get that trophy all right i got myself a little chainsaw so i can cut down some of these little trees and bushes and stuff all my fields are growing but we should be able to take these things uh where my chainsaw go there it is take these things out that kind of stuff all these crappy ones on the farm. That's what happened there. Uh, what? That one's glitching out. So any little guys like that, if I wanted to cut them down, I could cut them down. It's not going to cut down the big trees, but I don't think it'll cut... How big of them can it cut down? Not that. Let's take out these ones over here. Probably all these ugly ones we'll just take out. Alright, right. See you much later on in the year. Maybe we'll do like a, a full year sequence of showing a little bit here and there, but they'll be long videos. See you in a bit.
Got my geese and duck here giving us eggs. The easiest way to get eggs from these guys is you just shoot them with a nail gun. Alrighty, it's harvest time. It's the middle of June or early June. Since I planted early, so I'm gonna have to figure out the planting schedule for the stuff, but if I hurry up, I may be able to uh, get more crops this year, possibly. I don't know. But we got our soy is ready to harvest, our canola, canola is ready to harvest, and our peas are ready to harvest. Uh, I already got the 5,000 lead kilograms here of soy. There's like 12,000 liters of lapine in here. I got another field of lapine growing, but it's not ready yet. Yeah, 12,000 liters, kilograms. Everything's pretty decent, so we're going to have to start nothing in here should be. We're going to start cranking this stuff down and uh, oops. start harvesting stuff and See where we end up with. Right now we're at seventy-three hundred dollars. I don't need any food yet. Should be golden. So let's see how much we get. It's probably gonna take a while to harvest all these fields. So let's get cranking along the way, and I'll see what I get when I'm done. Let's see what it, along the way what each field gets. So this is soy. What do we got? Night cruise, like close to close to 100 on everything. It goes down as we as we're going, so it's going down as I'm moving. But we'll see how much we got. We already had the 5,000 kilograms, but we'll see what we end up with. It looks good. That view back out there to the pond. All right, we got 5110 kilograms of the soy here. I think that might have been the exact same amount we got, uh, what's in the silo right now anyway, so I'm just going to add this to the silo right now and then get started on that canola field and then get on over the peas after that, so we'll see how much canola we get here in a little bit after I, well, let's go dump this in here and queue up to, uh, get in position to retrieve more stuff. Alright, how we do this again? Raise the lower, okay. Hopefully we're not dumping it. It looks like we are dumping some of it. Because you can... It's not yelling at me yet though, so I don't know how much you get away with. Because it looks like there definitely is some dust and stuff going all along over the side there. Because you do have to pay attention to what you're doing. It's not like other games where it just magically makes its way in there. you got to make sure your, your pipe is over the, the trailers or whatever. Actually, I might as well just pull over here because this field's dead and I'm gonna wait till... I'm gonna wait till they're both done before I try and pay anyone to start plowing them. And then I was just thinking about it. I don't know if it... since you can plant grass, but all you can really do is sell... I think you can sell the bales, but it's not like they'd be worth a ton of money, so unless you really wanted to grass, like, I don't know if there's any strategy as far as, like, having to keep a, uh having to keep a field fallow or anything like that. Maybe having a plant grass in between times or something. I don't know. Like, I forgot to look, but this was 99% plowed, 99% cultivated, and 98 fertilized, and 95 manure is what it started out at, but I'm just gonna keep coming along the way here and try and take down the canola. I'll see you in a few with that, so we're not sitting here for the next half an hour or so I'm watching me take this stuff down. So let's round the corner over here, check out the deer over here and what are we doing? Holy crap. Yes I am. I filled up awfully quick. We did do like one stripe and one stripe and it was full. So yeah, that's certainly going to take some time. So we'll see your one are done, but that's a good thing because that means if 
thousand on that pass, two thousand. Like we might get quite a bit off that. We might get like twelve thousand kilograms off this. So I'll see what happens in a minute. Cause this should be, we should be empty. Should be nothing in there. But now I got a dump. So I'll see you soon. Yeah, hopefully we can uh, afford a harvester with all of our revenue from all these fields. Highly unlikely, but wishful thinking. We definitely will be able to by the end of the year. And then we'll see, hopefully they, the larger harvesters have a, oops. Hopefully the larger harvesters have a much larger whatever bin instead of 12,000 kilograms because this will take eons to harvest fields and I'm probably gonna need a I'm probably gonna need a rest or sit down somewhere here pretty soon but when you sit down on the, the benches that only gets you to 60 percent and if you sit down by the fire I think it gets you to 80 but then time goes by faster so that's gonna fast forward time Night harvesting is kind of cool, though. I can almost pay something. At least you get a couple more, at least one more round around, and I could pay something to plow that field next to us. They drive a little wild, so I don't want them running over my good crops. But yeah, we'll see you soon. All right, the trailer over there is full of 16,000 kilograms. Harvester is full of 1,200. Still have a tiny bit left on the field, but I'm about ready to pass out from being tired, so we're going to sit down by the fire for a second. Soak it up. Try and get a little energy before I climb up the stairs and go for the, to the sleep for the night, I think. It's... We'll check the prices of what it says canola is right now and then see what it is tomorrow. See if it went up. I think they're going to be going up, but it might be the same tomorrow. Hopefully it doesn't go down. Because we're trying to sell everything. And I already got, as I said, we already got soy in the one silo and lupine in the other, so I have no silo space anyway. This is good. Let's get a little bit here. Probably should extinguish the the fire there. Try not to piss off Smokey the Bear. And I think I'm gonna. Where's the cat at? You need fish. Yes, cat needs some fish. I don't want to feed the dog if he needs any. I think I already picked up my goose eggs and stuff, so. How much are them prices now? Canola right now is eight forty ninety four. So I'm gonna go to sleep. Wake up in the morning. Then we'll go sell that first trailer. See how much I'll meet you over there. We'll sell you that first trailer, see how much I got from that, then I'm still gonna have I don't know, like three thousand more kilograms to sell. It's probably just easiest to keep it that at that number, I think, because at a basically dumb estimation, we'd have to double it to get to the pounds, and then basically divide it in half to get to the tonnage for the weight that you're selling it of anyway. So we're basically going to be selling 14 tons. So I'll see you over there when we're selling 14 tons tomorrow. Looks like my lupine is ready too. Let's go sell this. I think we'll get about. A 11 grand for this or so. I wish you could turn that blank around all the time. So we're at 7108. Let's go sell this shit and then like I said we probably have another 3,000 kilogram back there. It's actually a few more grand back there so yeah we might get 13, 14 thousand dollars off this uh, field. Let's sell this grip. Mm. 
Yeah. You get more than that. That was that was around thirteen grand right there. We're not gonna have anywhere near as much, but we'll have a little bit after that. So, yeah, we're at twenty thousand right now. So looking pretty good for a harvester maybe I said before the end of the year at least but we might be able to get it before that unfortunately it's probably gonna be after we harvest all our fields because we're at 20 grand now we still have to sell all the soy so we had like 10,000 of that so that's gonna be another six seven like seven thousand dollars Right, I think. And then the P we're gonna get a lot of. An absolute tonnage of, so we'll probably get thirty five thousand maybe of that, so that'll be another thirty five grand, twenty, thirty, sixty five thousand. We got the little pine twelve, so that'll be another Yeah, we're gonna be pretty close. We're gonna be pretty close to being able to because I think the harvests are only like a hundred grand like some of the tractors. Surprisingly it's not a lot more, but I think it is, so I'll see you deep into one of these other fields. Alright, now we get the big old peas over there. I'm gonna take care of this little bit of barley first. Same situation over here, 99 plowed, 98 cultivated, 100 fertilized, 96 manure. It's like half and half because that was before I figured out I could dump the cedars back at my silo so I just waited till I ran out of peas so we got peas that a whole entire field over here plus that section this is my largest field I've had yet so this is gonna be buku and then same thing 99 100 100 and only 88 uh, so I'm gonna get going and knock down that barley first hopefully I can just fit it in that little trailer I just dumped it on the ground I'm probably gonna have to yeah I just dumped it on the ground because there's only 30 kilograms of maize in there. And I didn't want to screw with driving all the way back to try and uh, sell that. And then I'm definitely going to have to come over here and pick up all this straw before I pay someone to plow this field. But this shouldn't be too much. And I. Uh, Yeah, that's a oh, wow. Yeah, we are. That's like 60% on one strip. So we're yielding pretty, uh, pretty decent. Might as well turn around this way and the guy can just come up through here once I'm done. I hate all this, how there's so much crap and information on the screen now, so we'll see you soon. We never sleep. All right, trailers are full. That one back there and this guy. It still says I have about 25% left of the field. I've been harvesting all night. We're at real low sleep. I'm gonna try and go sell those things real quick quick and sit down on a bench and now I have to pick up all my eggs and milk and all that stuff and feed the dog since it's the next day and then continue on with this journey but I think I'm gonna 
bail that first whatever little bit bail that first so I can get someone over plowing that while I'm working on the rest of that and try and get that finished today so we're at 29029 now I'm guessing should get at least 20 grand because I think there's 16,000 kilograms in that one and 4,200 in this one it's going for a thousand fifteen or something like that so we'll probably get twenty two twenty three thousand dollars out of this so we'll see you when this is done with this field all right just got done selling the peas we're at fifty five five forty five I still have to sell all the barley which was whatever like five thousand something kilograms but it's only at like seven thirty six and I still have to harvest out of the pine field and sell all of my pine, blue pine, which I already have 12,000 plus whatever I harvest, which probably won't be much again, but that's still probably going to be maybe sixteen, seventeen thousand dollars $17,000 more for the little pine and whatever, 4500 So maybe another twenty grand after all is said and done. I will see when all that is done. Heading up to the windmill, selling the last bit of, or selling the barley, the last bit of the crops. There's still like 35 kilograms of the pine left in the silo in the shed, but we're just gonna have to leave that. So let's get this sold off, see how much we got. Not quite enough to buy a harvester, I'm pretty sure. And would have been a little bit more, but I obviously paid workers to harvest fields and stuff like that so looks like we ended up with seventy six thousand six hundred and one dollars I gotta figure it out I've done this before with other tractors but this guy's big oh oh beauty get out of here and start heading back home so we, I can start cleaning all this crap and start turning over the fields. I think everybody is uh, getting ready to be getting done plowed. Uh, harvester, how close are we to a shop? Not very close. We're close to a bus stop, but there's a, there's a thingamajig right there. That's, oh, I thought that was close to one of my other vehicles. Let's see how much the harvester is. Like another guy up by the agricultural store, so he's not, he's too far away from the, of course he's, uh, right next to the bus stop, and then we can take the bus stop to there to check out the harvester, hopefully. So he can jump on the bus. And then we can go to that other one. Hopefully has a harvester. Can at least see how much it is. I know I can afford it now with social points, but I don't know if for what I really need those for anyway, but Alright, we do have the harvester up here. Or a harvester up here, so Oh shit, will it connect to my old tools though? That's the next question. 116 or 58 and 116,000 social points. Uh, I don't know how many social I don't think I only have like 90 anyway, so yeah, 85. So I don't have enough either way. So I need 24 or 34. I need like 40 more grand to get the harvester. So we cannot har afford the harvester. I don't know if, like, there's a trophy roof have all modern equipment, so it's, that's 13, but I'd rather get the harvester. Does it tell you how big the, yeah, it does, 12,000 kilograms, so yeah, it's like 10 times the capacity of the one that we have, so we definitely need this. So after the, the fall harvest, I'm going to get the new harvester, then I'll have a new harvest harvester for next year but now I guess it's time to start turning all over my fields again and 
uh, sleep a million days till fall so I can go sell all of my shit to the lady and then come by the harvester but that's gonna be far too long from now so I'm gonna be taking far too long so that was just a big harvester harvest and I made a ton of money unfortunately I don't want to buy land or anything either because I want to get that harvester next because it's gonna come in handy and I should be able to probably afford it and get it before all my fields are ready to harvest uh... so thank you all for watching please like subscribe and comment and more farmers dynasty randomly basically it's probably gonna be full of years because it takes kinda forever and it's i want to at least try and buy something with the uh... stuff that we earn even though this time we didn't buy anything i don't want to waste it on land so we're gonna buy a harvester next time or I will buy a harvester and next time we'll have a harvester. Alright, see y'all later. Bye-bye.